didn't say you there. Aiden Conley here with Vocab Night Live, live from Easton, Massachusetts. Uh, our first audition of the day is from Ryan McFarland, age 15, live from our own Easton, Massachusetts. Round of applause, everybody. Round of applause. Woo! Uh, let's meet him now. Uh, so, Ryan, uh, how are you today? I'd just like to introduce myself. I am Aiden Conley here with Vocab Night Live. How are you? Pretty well. I'm glad to be on the set. It's fantastic. I'm loving the paintings. It's pretty good. The paintings are just magnificent, aren't they? It's an original Picasso. Just kidding. Kmart. Anyways, um, so what what are your special talents that you would like to offer us at Vocab Night Live? I'm pretty perfect. So, I mean, really, every, I can do anything. I'm amazing. Any Anything at all, you're saying? Yes. I literally, you know, you want me to... T- tightrope between some buildings. I'm your guy. Sounds quite dangerous. You might have to put a parachute on me. Uh, yeah, no, I don't even need that. I'm, I'm, I can do anything. I'm, I'm God, basically. God. All right. So, uh, you see yourself as such an entity. Um, how long do you plan on working with us? How long would you plan on working on the set? I'm thinking perpetually. I don't. I don't think I'll ever die. I. I know I'll never die. I'm. I'm immortal. I think at least ninety six percent immortal. I think. That's pretty perpetual for me. So you don't intend to die? No, I'm never going to die. Never. So. I can't even be liquidated. It doesn't even happen. Just... How old How old are you exactly? Um, they call me 15. We're not really sure because I've been living forever. So. Yeah. Are, are you even a child? Uh, I wouldn't say so. 50-50. How, how, did you, how did you get into this, get on the set? How did you get this audition? There's a window right here. So, I, I mean. But that, I didn't that's, that. not, that's not a window. Well, as, like I said before, I can basically go through walls because I'm perfect. Any talent, ceiling, I don't even know. Um, I'm gonna. Can I, yeah, we have to get him to leave. I know we have to get him to leave. He's, he's a little cold. But he's just doing good. What? I know. See, I know. I know. Stop. What? Uh, so <laughs> we're we're gonna we you did fine. We're gonna uh, we're gonna do, next contestant. Yay, Ryan. Well, thank you. Um, I'm perfect. All right. We need to get him out of here now. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how. I don't. I don't know what bad. I don't know how he got on the set. I don't know who he is. I don't know where he's from. I don't even know if he's a person. He ne- he had no. He resembled nothing at all. Um. Yeah. Oh, we have another audition. Oh, he's here now. Oh. oh okay. All right. Bye, mom. Bye. Uh, hello. Uh, we're back again. Sorry about that earlier audition. Uh, things got a little out of hand, seeing as we've never seen that man before. But now we have uh, our second audition of the night, and his name is uh, Brian Lambert from Easton, Massachusetts. Uh, would I like to welcome Brian? Brian? So, uh, hello, Brian. I'd like to welcome you to Vocab Night Live, live from your hometown of Easton, Massachusetts, as we already know. And so, um, Brian, how, how are you doing on this nice night? Oh. oh, where did you get... Where did you get that? Do we have drinks in the set? No, where did you get that? Um, where, where'd you get that drink, Brian? What, what, what is that? I brought it with me. You brought... I need a refill. You need a re- I don't... We don't have drinks. He needs a refill. He needs a refill. Um, well, we don't, we don't have refills, but, uh... Anyways, uh, so, Brian, uh, what do you think you'd be able to, uh, to bring to the show? Spice it up. Make it more fun. Oh, you know, I can sing and dance. I'm very good at dancing. Dancing. And on the occasion, I'll bring in the best vocals, a mixture of Fergie and... No, not Jesus Christ. No, the other guy. Oh. All right. Sometimes... Jesus Johnson. Yes. Ah. You got him. But sometimes, I feel like when I am singing and dancing at the same time... Uh, magical. Magical. Wow. Yes. That exa- can can you magical. describe this this magical experience like, you feel? It's as if a lightning bolt just strikes upon me. I'm just fantastic. That Get me is, on the show. That is just fantastic. Now, Brian, uh, what, what what special uh, talents do you have that you think would be interesting to the viewers? I just said it. You just said it. Um, yeah. Anything else at all? Pay attention to me. Uh, um, yeah. Yes. Right. Any any. Uh, Anything else at all you're, you're good at. Can we get a professional here? Um, I, I, he's getting very hostile. I don't know what to do. We need a professional. He's I whispering. I, I am I am a professional. Okay. Right. We're going to need to get him out of here. He's getting really annoying. All 
All right. Um, Saying about me now? No, nothing. Um, all right. Well, that was fantastic. I uh, made a lot of progress. Uh, both of our auditions have just been spot on. Um, Brian, any last words before we leave to the viewers? Breathtaking. See. All right. Well, this has been uh, this has been a failure. Yep. We need more people to audition. All right. Uh, live to you from Vocab Night Live. Do you have any idea what we're looking for? No, boss. What are we looking for? We're looking for the Holy Grail in order to perpetuate our lives. And trust me, I don't plan on dying. Okay, boss. Let's go. I'm coming. Don't worry, Brian. Where are you? I got it. We went on this quest to perpetuate our lives, not end them. Indiana, you saved my life. It's the Holy Grail! Over there! Indy, look at that. It's the Holy Grail. One of those is the Holy Grail. Hello, Chosen One. You've made it this far, but your quest is not yet over. One of these cups contains the Holy Grail. This Holy Grail will perpetuate your lives, causing you to become immortal, and you will never face death. Now choose wisely for the other two. Brian, no! That must mean it's one of these two. Hashtag surprisingly good. Mm. That's it. I've done it. My life is now perpetual. I am forever lasting. Nothing can hurt me. I am immortal. Fat Tony, Fat Tony, the jig is up. We failed to liquidate Polly. He's gone. How could you fail this one task? All you had to do was kill him. He was a restaurant owner, for God's sake. There's no way I can get to him at this time of day. You know what, Don? I got this. Put Fat Tony on the job. So, you failed to eliminate Polly. This is not good. Now, Fat Tony has to do your job. What have you to say for that? Nothing? I'm giving you one last chance. Take this. You must eliminate Fat Tony. But, but boss, I'm not, I'm not. Be careful with that, it's a loaded weapon. Last weekend, he took all the donuts from the cafeteria. Do you know what that means to me? A lot. Take out Fat Tony. He must be liquidated. By tonight. As you wish. Wake up, Fat Tony. What? Where's Polly? Your time's up. Polly got away. The jig is up. That's been my mission ever since day one. And now that you have failed to liquidate him, it's my turn to liquidate you. No!
job's done. Fat Tony's been liquidated. Any last requests, boss? So you've done your job. Fat Tony is dead. He's been eliminated. But unfortunately, we don't have any room for mistakes. Now it is you who must be liquidated.